Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Tuesday morning. I'm doing that for my dad. It is Tuesday because he doesn't seem to know which show he's watching, even though it puts up the new one every time on Red Sea. So, Pop, this is uh, the Tuesday show. Tuesday. If I'm in an orange shirt, you're watching it, you're on the right day. Oh, congratulations. Finally. Finally. I got a text this morning going, good call going the other way. I wanted to say, gotcha, Alabama. He has been wrong so long, and for him to do and and y'all, I, it just proved his theory and ours, because he picked Alabama. Yeah, he said it. I want Alabama to win. Good game last night. That was good. Good freaking. A game. lot of people were comparing it to USC Texas. Yep. And I will have to agree. When you score a touchdown, there's one second left on the clock, pretty much. You yeah. <clears throat> Now, that's good. That's good game. I don't take nothing away from Clemson. I don't take nothing away from Alabama. I think it was a simple deal of changing the game plan, Debo Sweeney, like you said, to stop, uh, to, to, make, to make the quarterback beat you. Once the running back went down, the quarterback has to beat us, and he's a freshman, and he didn't, and he's just a freshman. And they started throwing it deep yeah. a little more and giving his receivers a chance to make yeah. a play. Which they did. Yeah. So, congratulations to the Clemson Tigers and Debo Sweeney. A national championship. National championship. First one in 35 years for them. <clears throat> Pretty cool. All right. We're going to get into something different, man. Okay. This, this is totally yeah, something, totally something different. Do you like hanging out? You can't answer this question yet, but you can use it for past. Do you like hanging out with your significant other? Husband or wife? boyfriend or girlfriend after you've been together a while. And I'm not saying the first six months to a year. Let's get that past. So I got to go back to when I was married before. You go back to when you were married before with Tanya. Now, of course. Go. Yes. Uh, Elaborate. Because we, I was really family oriented. Right. Uh, we didn't go out a lot. When we did, we had a really good time. Right. We were a whole lot better out than we were at home. <clears throat> True story. But uh, if if we were together, it meant we were doing something fun. Whether it was soccer games, whether it was basketball games, whether it was out. If we were out of the house, we were doing something fun. At home, we had our shows we watched like right. most people. Right. So uh, I would go, no, I, I didn't get tired of... Of hanging out with her? Is it different than hanging out with me and you? Her, yes. Yes. She's not as... Quick-witted and sexy as I was. Yeah. Ham, ham. Yeah, one of those. Ham. Yeah, one of those. Well, I'm, I'm the same way. I've been with Stephanie now seven years. Feels like 70. No, I'm just kidding. And I enjoy hanging out with her. We have fun. And now, it ain't fun like me and you have because right. we have a different deal, but... There are a lot of couples that, when they come home, I, I don't want it's it's a beating for them to be together because it seems like the new is gone. I know what you're gonna say, I know what you're gonna do, I know what show you want, and I just don't want to have any. Oh, and I've got that good call. I've said it before. I'll say it again. No bueno for relationships because most unless. They have a job like Stephanie does where she is busy, busy, yeah, yeah. busy. We can't, we don't. <clears throat> then you know everything that happened to that person all day long. Yeah. Totally you can, can you believe I got cut off at the red light? Yeah. Can you believe my boss isn't here today? Can you believe they're calling me for this? So you don't have So that, when you get you home, you go, baby, how was your day? Well, I told you everything already. Yeah. You you don't have that interaction or communication because you're that you're absolutely right. Self gratification is I want to tell you how I feel right now, and you can't console it, you can't fix no. it. So I was just going with that. We've been we've been talking to a couple you know people, and some of the deals are, you know, we've been together so long. It's like two old grumpy men coming home, sitting there, and just oh hell, oh well. And man, you have to work at it. Yeah, it's a job. It's not always it's not always easy, you know. But next topic. You got another topic? 
No, I just had those two for the day. What about sick. allergies? You you've never really suffered with them. Don't have them. Thank the good Lord. I mean, we've went golf ball hunting in the lake. All of us broke out with you. Yeah. <laughs> allergies don't have them. A lot of us uh, have low testosterone. You don't. No. Guess you're God's gift to hell. Or to the world. Man, man, that's yeah, it. he tricked me. Well, you're working on nothing. <clears throat> but I think, and it's, it's weird because I just don't know why. I, I, I don't know why I don't have them. Uh, well, there's a lot of people who don't. Yeah, and you've had them since you was a kid. You had to get the shot. Oh, when, when I was a kid, I had it bad. Like, in the winter, it was... I would come in from outside, and it, it, I had asthma too. Right. I would come in from outside and just, I, I couldn't breathe at all. Did you pass that on to Caden? Is it in the gene, you think? Because he has asthma bad. Megan Megan had a little bit growing up. Uh, Marissa don't have it, does she? Yeah, but, but not like that. I, I, th I still think it could be in the, in the down line. But my dad had it. He took shots. Yeah, I remember he, that. All the time, but... I only took them till I was a teenager or whatever, but I never had that. Oh, I got asthma. I can't. I can't yeah, do that. You went ahead and played. Hell, I'm playing. Yeah, you're gonna. I, die. Whether I was dying or not. Stephanie has them bad. Stephanie has them bad, uh, and I I don't know how to. I don't know what I, itchy eyes mean. I don't get it. I you know I see them water, but I don't know what itchy eyes mean or. Uh, I got that scratch in the back of my throat. I can't get rid of it. Uh, the tickle in the nose. I, that is, I it's like a constant cold. It's like you have a cold all the time, except you don't feel bad. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to stop you right there. When we were living in Phoenix, how was your allergies? Not as bad. I still had them, but not as I bad. I agree. I agree. So a lot of it, because in Phoenix, I'm, I'm going to tell you, when we went down there and Stephanie went for the first time with us, we were going to L.A., she was like, oh my gosh, the, the tickle's gone, the whatever's gone. But there's no trees, there's no grass, yeah. you know, you don't have the, the pollen. In the air. Pollen's huge here. Uh, mold and pollen in this area is, is bad. If this show hadn't taken <laughs> off, we probably would have moved to Phoenix. Yeah, probably. probably. <laughs> If you have allergies, tell us what they are. And I, I do know it's a crippling deal. It, it really does. And I don't mean lay in a closet like a migraine, but it can shut you down. It, it, it just... It, it can shut you down. <clears throat> you ever heard that? Here, yeah. You ever heard that? My <laughs> <laughs> stomach growling. I'm so hungry right now. <clears throat> All right, man. Listen, we got uh, this weekend's Mickey and the Motor Cars. Yes. And we're going to up. I think that's just the name of the song. And I'm looking up the lunch special. It's going to, it's going to rain this weekend. Supposed to. Supposed to. But the good thing is, we left the plastic up on the stage. Ooh. What's the lunch special? What's the lunch special for today? Listen, surf and turf baked potato. Oh man! If you have not okay. had that with steak bites and shrimp, yeah, covered in cheese and broccoli. Listen. I went and had the meatloaf yesterday, and it was fantastic. I told Barry, I went, this is good. I went and had one plate, and that was all, because that's all I'm allowed to, because my man boobs go away, and it was so good. I've had the surf and turf potato. I will probably have it today. It, is, it was good, but uh, Mickey and the Motor Cars this weekend, our lunch special is still up right here, and I'm kind of excited about... I'm hoping we're through with this cold weather. I'm hoping this was a, it don't happen to us in February. You, you know, I, I'm kind of, I'm liking this 78 degrees today. So. And 80 tomorrow, yeah, me too. 80 tomorrow. Be I, sure. I don't know if it's going to, if it'll stay, but I mean, it's supposed to be back in the 50s and 60s next week. Yeah. But not, I, I can deal with that. Yeah. Be sure you go to uh, Amazon. You can type in Red Sea Entertainment and uh, check us out, watch our stuff. And like always, man, watch it. Like it and share it. Until tomorrow, I am Russ, this is Chris, and we are out of here.